You can look at the neurobiology of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict through the prism of hot sauce. <laughs> A glance at online hot sauce offerings shows that for millions, as one label proclaims, pain is good. That certain people enjoy suffering is both common knowledge and punchline. How many Jewish mothers does it take to change a light bulb? It's all right, I'll just sit in the dark. According to University of Pennsylvania researcher Professor Paul Rosen, masochism, the enjoyment of what appears painful or tiresome, exists on a spectrum of human pleasures. Duh. Riding on roller coasters, taking super hot baths, an affection for astringent drink, the delight of sore muscles after a hard workout, and many other human activities, all the way to self-mutilation, can be considered forms of what Professor Rosen calls benign masochism. He studied the eating habits of Mexican children. Mexican babies react negatively to capsaicin, the chemical that makes peppers hot. As well they should. Capsaicin hurts! Capsaicin activates type C nociceptive fibers, which then release something called substance P. The P should stand for pain, but it doesn't. Substance P release is better known to your brain as ouch. But our brains can be trained to experience ouch as ooh. Mexican children and others grow up being told that the pain you're feeling, that's good. In time, it's mom over matter. Cuisines from Indian Vindaloo to Chinese Szechuan to Buffalo chicken wings delight in the misery their recipes inflict. The malleability of our pain experience was dramatically demonstrated by the great neuroscientist Jane Fonda. In the days BJF, before Jane Fonda, we exercised trying to avoid pain. I went to the doctor. I said, Doc, it hurts when I do that. He says, don't do that. But post-Jane, the goal was to... Make it burn. Make it burn. Make it burn. Make it burn. With three little words, pain became pleasure. The switch has to do with... Massive oversimplification, oversimplification alert. alert. The switch has to do with the interaction of two areas of the brain. The anterior cingulate cortex, a feeling part of the brain, and the right ventral prefrontal cortex, a thinking part. It appears that our brain's thinking parts can be reprogrammed so that pain fiber activation and discomfort can seem just exactly what we want. Culture can pleasurize even severe forms of pain. Generations of Catholic school children have literally prayed for the chance to emulate the church's glorified martyrs and suffer their gruesome tortures to prove their pubescent faith. European Jewry seems to revel in its historic hurts. Every summer we are religiously commanded to get depressed about the destruction of the Second Temple by the Romans in 57 CE. Palestinians may embrace their suffering even more intensely. In March 2014, the elected Palestinian Prime Minister, Ishmael Hanaya, declared, If Palestinians and Israelis have evolved a culture that on some neurologic level enjoys and even desires the pain and suffering they inflict and inspire, Perhaps part of the solution is to give both sides some alternative form of agonizing pleasure. Hot sauce, anyone?